Hey beautiful yogis, welcome to Kiss and Nilsen Yoga. This practice today is a vinyasa flow focused on detoxifying and twisting everything that you need to let go of out of the body, both in the physical sense and the energetic. It is a continuous moving practice, so it's better for levels two, maybe level three with some options for inversions. Now you won't need any props for this practice, but those who want to practice with music, I have included a link in the description below. And those who want to donate to the channel to help to support me, I have included a link in the description below as well. So let's get started. All right, so we'll start the practice sitting on our heels with the toes tucked under and making that sure that even the little pinky toes are tucked under. We'll press down into the balls of the feet, squeezing the thighs in, start to zip up through the low belly and pressing down to the feet, we'll take a big breath in, sweep the arms up. Crossing the right arm underneath the left on the breath out working the palms together, working the forearms together, or if the shoulders are really tight, hands on opposite shoulders. Take a big breath in, start to reach the fingertips up as you send the sit bones back. Exhale, round the spine, curl in. And again, inhale, reach the fingertips up, sit bones back. Exhale to curl. Keep pressing into the forearms, keep pressing into the palms. Last one, big inhale. Curl in long, exhale. Come to center, take an in breath. Release the arms on the out breath. Start to slide the hands forwards. Walk the feet back, back. Work the knees in line with the hips. Then take another inhale, press the palms down. Start to lower the forearms down towards the mat as you exhale. Keep the elbows hovering, hold, breathe in. Start to bring the right arm under and through on the breath out. So the right shoulder comes down, the right ear comes down. Then press down into the right shoulder, drag the right shoulder over towards the right side of the mat. Take an inhale. Twist a little bit more towards the left as you exhale, but keep pressing that left hand down, left sit bone back. Then sliding the right hand back, keep both elbows off the mat, take a breath in. Switch it, start to thread the left arm across towards the right, left shoulder down, left ear down on the breath out. Keep pressing the earth away with the right palm, drawing the right hip back. Breathing in. Smooth breath out. Then pressing down to the right palm, release the left arm. Send the left arm forwards, inhale. Working the forearms down towards the mat, the elbows down to the mat, long exhale, send the gaze down. Maybe even pressing the forehead down, take a big breath in. Look forwards on the breath out. Imagine like you're dragging your hands towards your knees, snake all the way onto the belly and bring the heels towards the butt. So bending the knees, heels towards the butt. Come up onto the fingertips, bring the hands wider than the mat, track the elbows up. Take a big breath in, roll the shoulders and as you point the toes, start to lift the low belly, lift the heart up, keeping the knees bent, keeping the toes pointing up. Exhale to lower. Two more, big breath in. Lower down, long breath out. So keep the bend in the knees, keep the hamstrings firing. Last one, inhale to lift. Lower down, exhale. Bring the hands either side of the chest and hover the hands off the mat, draw the elbows in towards the side ribs. Now take a breath in, start to lift the thighs away from the mat. As you exhale, extend the legs. Keep the thighs off the mat, breathe in, bend the knees, keep the thighs off the mat, it's really hard. Exhale, extend. Last one, breathe in, bend the knees, keep the thighs off. 
Extend the legs, lower the feet down, press down to the hands, cobra pose, and lift with the heart, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Last one, roll the shoulders, drag hands to feet, keep pressing down with the feet as the heart lifts. Exhale to lower. Tuck the toes under, breathe in. Press the sit bones back towards the heels on the breath out, walk the hands back, back towards the knees. Feet together, toes to touch, squeeze the inner thighs in. Arms up overhead, inhale. Left arm underneath the right, this time cross at the elbows, work the palms to touch, exhale. Reach the fingertips up, send the sit bones back, big breath in. Elbows in towards the belly, curl in, long breath out. Two more, inhale. Curl in, exhale. Last one, breathing in. Round, long breath out. Really breathe in space between the shoulder blades. Back to center, inhale. This time, release the hands down to the mat. Come up onto the fingertips. Root down into the fingertips as you round the upper back. Start to pick the knees off the mat as you walk your hands back, back, back to your feet. Heel toe the feet, hips distance. Now deep bend into your right knee, but keep pulling the right hip back. Bring the right hand to the inside, so just underneath the face, stay on the fingertips. Sweep the left arm up towards the sky, take an in breath. Keep moving the right hip back, but turn the rib cage towards the left on the out breath. Send the gaze up towards the left fingertips. Big breath in, lengthen through your crown as you press down into the left heel. Stay on the breath out. One more, inhale. Left hand down to the mat where the right hand was. Bend deeply into the left knee. Switch sides, sending the right arm up. Keep pulling the left hip back, pressing down into the right heel. Take another big breath in. Lengthen from the right fingertips and the crown of the head. Turn the rib cage more towards the right on the breath out. Gaze to the right fingertips. Full in breath in. Then bend both knees, right hand down to the mat, soften, long breath out. Halfway lift to lengthen, big inhale, stay on the fingertips or hands to shins. Fold in, low belly scoops in, long breath out. Deep bend into the knees, chair pose, sweep the arms, bring the weight to the heels, inhale. Hands to prayer at the heart, exhale, weight to the heels even more. Take another in-breath in, twist to the right on the breath out, light tap, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and then back to center, inhale, hands to prayer, twist to the left, exhale, light tap, back to center, breathe in, twist to the right, breath out, back to center, inhale, twist to the left, exhale, this time back to center, sweep the arms up, breathe in, Forward fold, weight to the toes, long breath out. Halfway lift to lengthen in. Walk the hands forwards, come to downward facing dog on the breath out. Let the energy settle as you soften into the elbows and root down into the index finger knuckle. Fingers spread out wide, and as you press down into the hands, you're thinking about lifting the forearms away from the mat, moving the armpits away from the mat, and finding that containment of the front ribs, but not rounding the upper back too much. Keep working the sit bones up as you soften into the knees as well. Smooth, steady breath in. Long breath out. Now bring the feet as wide as the mat. Walk the feet about foot's distance forwards. Press down into your right hand. Take your left hand, grab a hold of either your right calf or your right ankle. Keep moving the right sit bone back. Take an in breath. Scoop the low belly in as you turn the gaze underneath the right armpit on the out breath. Back to center, inhale, left hand down to the mat, exhale. Breathe in, 
Switch sides, taking the right hand either to the left calf or the left ankle. Keep moving that left sit bone back. Keep pressing down to the right heel, take an in breath. Twist the rib cage now towards the left on the out breath. Back to center, inhale, right hand down to the mat, exhale, press down to both hands. Again, move the sit bones back, 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 back. You'll feel more of an opening through the shoulders. Then rise up onto the balls of the feet, breathe in. Now little hop to the hands on the breath out. So you'll bend the knees as you exhale, hop the feet between the hands. Spread the toes, inhale, halfway lift. Knee soft, fold in long, exhale. Deep bend into the knees, weight to the heels, chair pose, breathe in, this time with the legs together. Twist to the right on the breath out, hands to prayer, light tap, left elbow, right knee. Back to center, arms sweep up, breathe in. Twist to the left breath out, right elbow taps, left knee. Back to center, inhale. Knee soft, forward, fold long, exhale. Halfway lift to lengthen, breathe in. Step the right foot back, release the right knee down. If you need to step the left foot forward, if you're more in towards the middle of the mat, you can do that as well. Right knee down to the mat. Come up onto the fingertips, release the top of the right foot down. Take a big breath in as you pull your heart forwards. Stay, keep pressing down to the right foot and the breath out. Sweep both arms up overhead, take a big in breath, low belly scoops in. Hands to prayer at the heart on the out breath. Inhale, twist to the left as you exhale, light tap. Then sweep the arms up overhead, breathe in. Hands to prayer at the heart, breath out. One more, take another inhale. Light tap, twist towards the left on the exhale. Sweep the arms back up overhead, breathe in. This time, tuck the toes under, hook the thumbs, spreading the fingers on the breath out. Keep pressing into the ball of the foot. Start to move the arm bones back as you send your heart forwards. Big inhale in. Keep pressing into the back foot. Hold long breath out. One more inhale. Both hands down to the mat as you exhale. Heel toe the left foot out a little wider. Send the left arm up towards the sky, breathe in. Maybe stay here or bend the back knee, grab a hold of the right foot and the breath out. Spread the right toes, stay up onto the right fingertips, roll the left shoulder head back, take an inhale. Maybe think about kicking that right foot back, but then pulling the left hand in as you exhale. Stay smooth breath in. Hold long breath out. Gently releasing the right foot, reach the left fingertips up, breathing in. Then walking the left fingertips forwards, right fingertips forwards, elbows soften, fold in, breath out. Scoop the low belly and look forwards, inhale. Walking both hands back in, heel toe the left foot back into center as you exhale. Hook the thumbs, tuck the back toes under, arms sweep up overhead, breathe in. Hands down to the mat, step back, plank pose, breath out. Round the upper back, grab the ground with the fingertips, shift the weight forwards, inhale. Chaturanga, halfway down, exhale. Back up, plank, round the upper back, breathe in. Chaturanga, breath out. Back up, plank, inhale. Bend the elbows, go all the way down to the belly, exhale. Press the tops of the feet down, roll the shoulders. Bend the knees as you breathe in. See if you can hover the thighs off the mat, breath out. Hold, take another inhale. Hover the hands off the mat as you exhale, breathe in. Extend the legs as you breathe out. Keep the thighs off the mat, inhale. Bend the knees, exhale. Breathe in, keep hovering the thighs. We're going a little longer with this one. Exhale, extend, inhale, hold, exhale, bend the knees, take another in breath, hands down, feet down, lower down, long out breath. Whew. You can move the hips a little bit from side to side. 
Press down to the feet so much the knees are off the mat. Again, imagine like the thighs want to move away from the mat again. Roll the shoulders, lift the heart up, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Now either you can stay with cobra or slide the hands a little bit further back. Upward facing dog, roll the shoulder heads back. Drag the hands to the feet as the heart pulls through. Downward facing dog, scoop in, press back. Big inhale in. Press the floor away, soften the elbows, long breath out. Smooth and breath in. Long breath out. Walk the feet about foot's distance closer and step the feet to be as wide as the mat once again. Take a breath in. Left hand to the right ankle or right calf, twist to the right, breath out. Left hand down, inhale. Switch it, right hand either to the left ankle, left calf, twist, exhale. Right hand down, breathe in. Rise up onto the balls of the feet, round the upper back on the breath out. Bend your knees. Now you might do a couple little hops here. Think heels towards the butt. Maybe you might tap the toes to touch, like almost like you want to clap the feet and then lower back down. You'll do about three of these. So inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Little clap. Bop. And then lower. And again, inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Little clap. Lower down. Once more, breathe in. Bend the knees, breath out. Little clap. Bop. And then lower. Either you'll hop to the top or you'll step to the top. Feet together, toes to touch, spread the toes. Halfway lift, inhale, fold in, exhale. Deep bend into the knees, chair pose. Scoop the low belly and watch the palms touch, inhale. Twist to the left, right elbow taps, exhale. Back to center, breathe in. Twist to the right, breath out. Back to center, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathing in. Left foot steps back, left knee down. Again, if you need to walk the right foot forwards, if you're in the middle of the mat, you can do that. Left knee down. Arms sweep up overhead, big breath in. Hands to pray at the heart, release the top of the back foot down on the breath out. Take a moment. Press down to the front foot. Move this right sit bone back. Big breath in. Twist towards the right on the breath out, light tap. Sweep the arms up, come up back to center, inhale. Hands to pray at the heart, exhale. Breathe in. Twist to the right, breath out, little tap. Back to center, sweep the arms up, overhead, breathing in. This time, hook the thumbs, tuck the back toes under on the breath out. Spread the fingers. Again, low belly scoops in. Start to move the arm bones back, but press into the ball of the back foot as you send your energy forwards. Gaze up. Last big breath in. Both hands down to the mat, heel toe the right foot out wide on the breath out. Send the right arm up towards the sky, take a big in breath, stay up onto the left fingertips. Either hold here or bend the left knee, grab a hold of the left foot on the out breath. Spread the toes, kick back with the left foot, but again, keep pulling in with the right hand. Smooth in breath in. Gently releasing the left foot on the breath out. Sweep the right arm back up, inhale. Right hand comes forwards. Left hand comes forward, soften the elbows, get deeper into the hips, exhale. Back up, look forwards, breathing in. Walk the hands back in, in. As you heel toe the right foot back to center. Hook the arms up overhead, hook the thumbs, take a big breath in. Hands back down to the mat, step back, plank pose, breath out. Ooh. 
Shift the weight forwards, weight to the fingertips, round, breathing in. Chaturanga, come halfway down, breath out. Back up, plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Back up, plank, breathe in. Chaturanga to the belly, breath out. Tops of feet, ground, roll the shoulders, cobra pose, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Option for cobra or upward facing dog, big breath in. Downward facing dog, scoop in, press back, long breath out. Smooth inhale in. Elbows soften, knees soften, sit bones high, long breath out. Big in breath in. Long breath out. Walking the hands back towards the feet. Weight to the heels, deep bend to the knees, chair pose, breath in. Draw the right knee in towards the chest, hands to pray at the heart on the breath out, hold. Take an inhale, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Start to bring your right fingertips to the back of the skull, back of the head, track the right elbow out wide. Take an inhale, start to pull the right knee in with the left hand, but resist this and twist to the right as you exhale. Big breath in. Then come back to center, interlace the fingers around the right knee, squeeze in. Hold breath out. Now the inhale, releasing the right foot down, bend deeply into the left knee, come back to chair pose, hands spread at the heart, exhale. Sweep the arms up overhead, breath in. Weight to the right foot, draw the left knee in towards the chest, come to standing, hands to pray at the heart, breath out. Whoa. Big inhale, take the right hand to the outside of the left knee, bring the right finger, sorry, left fingertips behind the head, track the left elbow wide. And again, imagine like you're pulling that left leg in with the right hand, but resist, twist the rib cage to the left. Smooth inhale in. Come back to center, interlace the fingers around the left shin, squeeze in on the breath out. Whoa, <laughs> I'm losing my balance with this left side. Take another inhale. Gently releasing the left foot down as you exhale. Bend both knees once again, weight back to the heels. Chair pose, arms sweep up overhead, breathe in. Hands to pray at the heart, rise up onto the balls of the feet on the breath out. Start to lower all the way down, working the sit bones down towards the heels. Take a breath in. Now start to lean the weight back. As you do, start to lower the knees down towards the mat on the breath out. Press down to the feet. Send the hips forward. Sweep the arms up. Hook the thumbs. Take an in breath. Press into the feet. Hold here on the out breath. Interlace the fingers now. Press the palms overhead. Take an inhale. Just with the rib cage, twist to the right as you exhale. Back to center, breathe in. Just with the rib cage, twist to the left, breath out. Back to center, inhale. Releasing the hands, bring the hands down to the mat. Downward facing dog, pick the knees off the mat, exhale. Big breath in. Long breath out. Send the right leg up towards the sky, take an in breath. Bend the knee, open up through the hip, but keep pulling that left hip back and pressing the right hand down on the out breath. Rising up onto the ball of the left foot, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, cross the body, light tap as you exhale. Send it back up to the sky, breathe in. Bend the right knee, open up through the hip, breath out. Rise up onto the ball of the left foot, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, little tap as you exhale. Last one, back up towards the sky, breathe in. Bend the right knee, open up through the hip on the breath out. Come up high onto the ball of the left foot, inhale. This time, knee to the nose, scoop in, round the upper back, hug the thumbs in. See if you can step the heel down first, then the ball of the foot down. Pivot the left heel down to the mat. 
Now we're working toward a warrior one. So maybe heel toe the right foot out a little wider. Right hip pulls back, right sit bone scoops under and forward towards the back of this right knee and really ground down through the back foot even more. So think left toes pointing to about maybe 10 or 11 o'clock. So we're still allowing that inner thigh to roll in. Press into the feet, arms sweep up overhead, take an in breath. Hook the thumbs, bend deeper into this front knee on the out breath. Big breath in. Stay long breath out. Release the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Move the fist towards the back heel as you send the heart forwards. Inhale. Fold in, humble warrior. Exhale. Stay here. Keep moving that right sit bone back. Big breath in. Long breath out. Look forwards on the in breath. Press down to the feet, come back up on the out breath. Release the arms, sweep them overhead, breathing in. Come up onto the ball of the back foot as you shift the torso forward, send the arms back on the breath out, inhale. Warrior three, shift the weight forwards, pick the left foot off the mat, toes point down. Well, spin the inner thigh in. If you lose your balance, that's okay. You can always lightly tap the earth with the fingertips and then come back. Find it again. Whoa. Breathing in. Keep moving the fingertips back, moving the shoulder heads down the back on the breath out. Take another inhale. Hands down to the mat. Bend the left knee, bring it behind the right knee. Bend both knees, exhale, squeeze in. Press down into your right heel. Send the left leg back up, breathing in. Left knee behind the right knee, squeeze in, breath out. Last one, send it back up, inhale. Left knee behind the right knee, hover, hold. Stay, look forwards, one hand to the heart. Other hand to the heart, hold. Think about that right thigh to the right, or to the right side of the belly. Take another in breath. Both hands down, release the left foot down, release the left shin down, come all the way down. Whew. <laughs> Both sit bones down, essentially we're coming into a twist. So that right leg is over the left leg. We're starting to work the right sit bone down. As we bring the right fingertips behind the back, sweep left arm up, take an inhale. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee as you exhale. Lift the heart a little higher, inhale. Twist to the right as you exhale. Keep using the resistance of left elbow to knee, big breath in. Twist a little deeper, long breath out. Another big in breath, long out breath. Look forwards, inhale. Send your arms forwards as you exhale. Now you're gonna press down into that right foot. Lift the sit bones off the mat, bring the hands down, extend the left leg back. It's like almost like you press rewind and you're coming back. So right foot grounds, lift the sit bones up, off, inhale, hands down, send the left leg back as you exhale, back to supported warrior three, breathe in, bend the right knee, step the left foot back on the breath out, sweep the arms up overhead, crescent lunge, inhale. Hands down to the mat, this time step the right foot back, plank pose, exhale. Breathing in, optional vinyasa or downward facing dog knee, soft breath out. Woo. Smooth inhale in, long steady breath out. Using the pit of the belly, left leg up towards the sky, take an inhale. Bend the left knee, open up through the hip, but keep pulling that right hip back as you press the left palm down on the exhale. Extend the left leg back, breathe in. Left knee to right elbow, scoop in, breath out. Send the left leg back up towards the sky, inhale. Left knee bends, open through the hip, exhale. Come up onto the ball of the right foot, breathing in, extend the left leg. Left knee to right elbow, cross the body like tap. 
back up towards the sky, inhale, bend the left knee, open through the hip, exhale, now come up onto the ball of that right foot, breathe in, knee to the nose, scoop in, see if you can lower the heel down, then the ball of the foot down, if you have really short arms like me, you might want to come up onto the left fingertips, then we pivot the right heel down, we draw the left hip back, but we think left sit bone to the back of the knee. Keep pressing down to the back heel. Now the toes are pointing to about two o'clock. Root down as you rise up, arms up overhead, big breath in. Hook the thumbs, soften the elbows, move the arm bones a little bit further back on the breath out. Ribs pull in, heart lifts higher, inhale. Stay, exhale. Take another in-breath. As the back heel grounds, release the hands, interlace the fingers behind the back. Take an unfamiliar grip, different thumb on top. Send the fist back as you pull the heart forwards. Inhale. Humble warrior, fold in. Left shoulder to inner left knee as you exhale. Head heavy. Big in-breath. Stay long out-breath. Start to lengthen the spine, look forwards, inhale. Press down to the feet as you come up, exhale. Release the arms up overhead, come up onto the ball of the right foot, breathing in. Shift the torso forward, bring the arms alongside the body on the breath out. Bring the weight to the left foot, slide the right foot forward as you pick the right foot off the mat, warrior three. Right toes point down and the thigh spins in. Heart is moving forward as you reach the left, the right toes back. Take another inhale, fingertips down to the mat, right knee bends behind the left knee, bend both knees as you exhale, keep looking forward, weight to the heel. Extend the right leg back, breathing in. Right knee behind the left knee, squeeze in, breath out. Once more, send it up towards the sky, inhale. Right knee behind the left knee, squeeze in, exhale, hold. One hand to the heart, inhale. <laughs> Other hand to the heart, hold, exhale. Last breath in, both fingertips down, lower the right shit down, right shin down, <laughs> lower both sit bones down. Whew. Whew. La la. Left leg on top of the right leg. We start to work that left sit bone down but keep pressing down into the ball of that left foot, pressing down to the big toe. Left fingertips behind the back, low belly scoops in as you sweep the right arm up overhead, inhale. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee, start to twist the rib cage towards the left as you exhale. Big breath in, keep pressing down into the left foot as you lift your heart higher. Twist from the navel, long exhale. Breathing in, smooth breath out. Now looking forwards, inhale. Same thing that we did on the other side. We send the arms forward. It's like we've pressed that button for rewind. We ground down to the left foot. We pick the sit bones off the mat, breathe in. Hands come down. We send the right leg back on the breath out, deeply bend into the left knee, step the right foot back. Drag the feet towards one another, sweep the arms up overhead, inhale. Hands down to the mat, either through your vinyasa as you step the left foot back or downward facing dog press back. Big breath in, slow breath out. Smooth and breath in. Long breath out. Bring the feet together, toes to touch. Walk the feet about foot's distance forwards. Now here, either you can tip toe to the top, walking the hands, walking the feet towards the hands, sorry, or a couple of bunny hops here. So super straight arms. You round the upper back as you rise up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. And again, we're thinking about bringing the heels towards the butt, a little hop, and then back down. You can do three of these. So inhale, shift the shoulders forwards. Exhale, bend the knees, little hop. 
and then back down. Last one. Rising up, balls of the feet round. Exhale, bend the knees, little hop. And back down. Either you step to the top or you hop to the top. Big toes to touch, halfway lift, inhale, we meet. Knees soft, forward fold, exhale. Deep bend into the knees, chair pose, sweep the arms up, inhale. Hands to prayer at the heart, draw the right knee in towards the chest, stay low as you exhale. Press down to the left heel, draw the right knee to the chest, inhale. Interlace the fingers, squeeze in as you exhale. Now find your gaze, find a point that doesn't move as you pull that shin in closer, but draw the shoulders back. Either you stay here or you keep a hold of the left, or keep a hold of the right knee with the left hand, start to send your right arm back in a twist. Maybe you stay or maybe you grab a hold of the right foot with the left hand, work to extend the right leg forwards. Staying in the twist, maybe send the gaze over the right shoulder. Big breath in. Long breath out. Send the gaze forwards, inhale. Bend back into the right knee, left hand to the right knee on the exhale. Hold, breathe in. Both hands to prayer at the heart, lower the right foot down, breath out. Whoo! <laughs> Take a big inhale in. Long breath out. Deep bend into the knees, chair pose, sweep the arms, inhale. Keeping the right knee bent, draw the left knee in towards the chest, exhale, hands to prayer. Press down to the right foot, interlace the fingers around the left shin, squeeze in, stand up tall. Hold breath out. Now here you can stay or keeping the right hand to the left shin, you can start to release the left hand and send the left arm back. Maybe follow it with the gaze. Either staying here or right hand grabs a hold of the outside of the left foot as you work, ooh. <laughs> as you work to extend the left leg. My left side's really wobbly today, I'm not sure why. Then again, twist with the rib cage. Big inhale in. Come back to center, bend into the left knee, right hand to the outside of the left foot. Hands to prayer at the heart, inhale. Left foot down, release the arms down. Long exhale. Take a moment here, big breath in. Long breath out. Arms up overhead, breathing in. Knees soft forward fold, long breath out. Halfway lift in. Plant palms, optional vinyasa or downward facing dog, you choose. Smooth in breath in. Lowering the knees down towards the mat on the breath out. Taking child's pose, big toes to touch. Sit bones to heels. Forehead down, maybe arms release alongside the body. Big breath into the back body. Long breath out. Then coming back up onto the fingertips, press down to the shin, super slow, peeling the spine out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I've definitely, definitely got a sweat going on. <laughs> All right, lowering the hips down to one side, send the legs towards the front of the room. 
planting the feet down. We'll take the right hand, bring it underneath the right leg, grab a hold of the left ankle, draw it in towards the right sit bone. And then we'll step the right leg over. Now again, start to lower that right sit bone down. Wrap the left forearm around, interlace the fingers, take a breath in, draw that shin in, lift the heart high from the rib cage, twist over towards the right. Now either you can stay here or right, left elbow to the outside of that right knee, twist, right fingertips behind the back. Either you stay or those that wanna take an arm balance, Pajva Bakasana. You can take that now. Hands come down. You press down into your sit bones. Work your hands to be in line. Essentially, it's like you're coming into Chaturanga with your hands. So the hands are shoulder distance apart. We shift the weight forward. We pick the sit bones off the mat. Keep looking forwards. You're still in the cross and legs. Hover the feet. Three, two, one, and then lower back down. <laughs> then come back to center, those in the twist. Heel toe, the right foot out a little wider towards the left. And we'll come into Golmukhasana. So shift the weight forward, work to stack the knees. Press the sit bones down, take a big breath in. Either stay here or hands onto the feet, tracking the elbows in as you fold in on the breath out keeping those sit bones down. Five deep breaths. Really starting to slow down the breath. Every exhale is your opportunity to ground. Sit bones move down towards the earth. Every inhale is your opportunity to breathe in space. Find that little bit more length. Ujjayi breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Press down to the sit bones, come back up, inhale. Walk the hands back in, exhale. Lean the weight back, plant the feet down. Then pressing down to the sit bones, we'll take the left hand, bring it underneath the left leg, grab a hold of the right ankle, draw it in towards the left sit bone, and then step the left leg over. Again, we want the left sit bone grounded down. We wrap the right forearm around the left shin, interlace the fingers, squeeze in, grow tall. Exhale, we twist the rib cage over towards the left. Either stay or left fingertips behind the back. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. We lift the heart higher on the in breath. We twist and send the gaze over the left shoulder on the out breath. Now either you stay here or again we take side crow now on the left side. So we start to lower the right hand down. We shift the weight forward as we pick the sit bones off the mat. As we lower the left hand down, we think hands shoulder distance apart. Whew. Picking the sit bones off. Chaturanga, as I bend my elbows, look forwards, maybe one foot off the mat, maybe both. Three, two, one. So obviously it's not traditional side crow, Pajva Bakasana, as there is a cross of the legs, it makes it a little bit trickier. Releasing the arms, those in the twist come back to center. We'll start to heel toe the left foot out towards the right slightly, and then work to stack the knees a little bit more for Golmukhasana. Find length through the spine, hands to the feet, take an inhale. Start to hinge at the hips as you fold in on the exhale keeping that left sit bone grounded. Five deep breaths. Breathing into the back of the heart. 
sit bones ground, legs ground even more on the exhale. Last breath in, long breath out. Coming back to center, breathing in. Bringing the fingertips behind you as you lean the weight back on the breath out. Plant the feet down, then start to open the legs out wide for Upta Vishta Kanasana. Working the feet out a little wider, but keeping the softness in the knees. So we're not gonna go to our edge, to our max. We're just going to a place that feels good to get that groin opening, to get the inner thighs opening. Knees stay soft, feet stay active, toes point up. Take a big breath in. Now we'll start to slide the right hand over towards the left as we lean over towards the right on the breath out, but keep that left sit bone grounded. Maybe you'll sweep the left arm overhead, take an in-breath. Keep that left sit bone grounded as you lean over towards the right, even more on the out breath. Coming back to center, inhale. Switching sides, sliding that left hand towards the right. The lean towards the left. Maybe sweep the right arm up overhead, breathe in. Stay, breath out, rib cage turns towards the right a little bit more. Smooth and Helen. Pressing down into the sit bones, come back up on the breath out. Bringing the fingertips behind you as you lean the weight back. Bringing the legs in, in. Wrapping the forearms around the legs, squeezing in. Little rocks from side to side. Now here I'm going to give you a little bit of time to go into any poses that you feel the body needs before stillness. So this could be lying down twist, supine twist. This could be halasana, legs over the head, but really mindful of the neck. So keep the gaze forwards. Could be happy baby pose. Essentially any other pose or poses you feel you need before you come into your chosen stillness. So you can choose Shavasana for the stillness or you can choose your meditation seat. All right, I'm gonna choose my meditation seat and I'm gonna take a little seated twist before coming into my seat. All right, but you just take your time. Any other pose that you feel you need. And then starting to find your stillness. Whether it's Shavasana, whether it's your meditation seat. And as you drop into stillness, just start to observe and be really aware of the difference between at the start of the practice to how you feel right now. what's been cleared out of the body, what's been twisted out of the body. Is there anything both physically and emotionally that you have cleansed out?
And if so, what's it made room for? What is it that you need to really breathe in? Breathing in that loving breath. Now you can stay in your stillness for as long as you like. Thank you for practicing with me today, yogis. Namaste.